Oh. I think I can manage a few bacon butties on my own. I know what the lads like. Jimmy had to have his bacon crispy. Tom likes Likes his... mustard. Yes, I know. English mustard. Of course. Hold your horses. Carl got you doing the butty run then, has he? Yes. In his absence. You what? He's not here. There was a last-minute job in Romania. Carl had to take it. Romania? When's he back? No one knows. Might have to pick up a return load. Didn't he tell you he was going? Not joined at the hip, you know. He's working. It's no big deal. Oh, so people keep saying. <coughs> See ya. It's really creepy, if you ask me. I hope he don't upset Siobhan. Is there anyone there? I serve chastity, remember? Well, just because she's landed herself a millionaire doesn't mean to say she can lord it over everybody. Oi, shop! So come on. And your bod. Can I help you, Sam? Bad, remember? Well, I won't tell if you don't. Thanks, I'm ugly. I wish other people were as nice as you are. I know you never meant to hurt Edna. She thinks she'll ever forgive me. Well, maybe you should let her know how sorry you are. She just shouts at me. Can't get my words out. I tried to give some flowers, but she just told me to get lost. I'm sorry. I could try chocolates. Maybe she likes them. Hiya. Morning. You are right? I need some space. Away from all these reminders. Where will you go? Got some friends daft enough to put me up. You're doing the right thing. Mm, let's hope they think so when I've drunk all their wine and blubbered everywhere. If there's anything I can do while you're away. Thanks, but Chloe's looking after the house. Well, if you think of anything, you know where I am. Dad hasn't had any breakfast. I don't want him to think I'm interfering. It's a bacon butty, Jack. Shows you've been thinking about him. Tell me how he get on. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, not again. I, I, I bought you these. Any normal person would have got the message by now. I, I didn't mean to upset you again. But you have the audacity to keep rubbing my nose into what you've done to me. Yeah, but... I just, just spare me any more excuses, or shallow gifts for that matter, and just leave me alone. Do I make myself clear? Oh. Very impressive. We've been hard at it. Mm. Some more than others, I see. But on the whole, very good. In fact, I think a treat is in order. What do you mean? I mean, Lisa, the cream cakes are on me. You won't mind getting them, will you, Shell? But no buts. You can make up the time later. If you say so. I do. Oh, and Shelley, do try not to eat them all before you get back here. I thought Shelley was supposed to be your friend. She is. But you wouldn't want me showing favouritism now, Lisa, would you? Oh, can you believe it, Tootsie, the cheek of the lad? Oh, this is all his fault. What? Oh, do you want to go out? Oh, I wish you'd have told me sooner. Oh. Just give me, give me a moment. Oh. 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 It's nice of you to treat us to dinner, Charity Love. Oh, well, you know me, Lisa. Always want to spread me look around, eh? See, my lady don't like it. 
Yeah? Well, guess what? She'll just have to get used to it. <laughs> you just order whatever you like, ladies. You hear me? Do you think Carl took that job just to get away from me? No! In any way, you'd already split up, hadn't you? I was hoping to change that. Fat chance now, isn't there? I'll tell you what, I'll get the drinks in, eh? Oh, right. Another drink, boys? Should be getting back. Oh. Jimmy? Yeah, maybe just the one. Right. Don't you do anything for yourself? It's only a drink. I mean, Carl. You've told her, haven't you? No. You know what Sadie's like. She can tell something's up, so she's fishing. We'll make sure she doesn't catch anything. This one stays with us, OK? Uh, you uh, fancy joining us? No, thank you. I can see you want to be with your family. Hey, We'll all be one big happy family soon, though, won't we? No. Is that you? Who else do you think it is? I'll be right with you. Uh, uh, what, what happened? Oh, what does it look like? Oh. Uh, oh. <coughs> uh, Come on. What are you doing? What does it look like? Come on. Uh, uh, coming down. No, now. come on. No. Come on, let's let's get you sorted. Put me down. <laughs> yeah. oh, look. Oh, look. Oh. look, look, there we are. Oh. Safe and sound. Oh. There you go, Dan. Cheers. Keep the change, won't you? Thanks. Don't let it get to you. We got bigger problems than her. Really? Something I should know about? Uh, no, just boring old business. Don't patronise me, Jimmy. Has this got something to do with Carl? No. I was thinking more about us and where we're going to live. I mean, that's the thing. I didn't know what you were doing, did you? <laughs> so I didn't know, he didn't know, they didn't know. Nobody knew anything. No. I was just like, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you all right, Sammy? You got yourself a new girlfriend at last? Good for Edney. Oh, she's a bit old for you, isn't she? Chaz! Just leave me alone. Sammy, love. Sam. They were an apology, if you must know. Only Edna wouldn't accept him. I was only joking. Yeah, well, don't. Just because you messed up with Carl don't mean you'd have to take it out on the rest of us. I'll go find him. No, 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 just leave him. You heard what he said. I'll speak to him later. I'll put a nip of my best brandy in. It's good for shock. There's nothing wrong with me. So you keep telling me. I'll call the doctor if you like, just to be on the safe side. Will you stop fussing? You, you should get some proper help. The only help I need is for people to keep their noses out of my affairs. Or well, maybe they would if you remove your blinkers. There's no shame in taking what's on offer. I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's your dues. I wish you were due somewhere else. All this nagging is giving me a headache. I'm not an invalid, so just stop treating me like one. I'm trying to help. If I want help, then I shall ask for it. And it certainly won't be from you. Oh, you can't even make a decent cup of tea. Fine. If that's how you want it. Certainly makes you think. Oh, I'm gonna be late. Steph cracking the whip, is she? Oh, and then some. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Oh, I couldn't work for her. I know she's your mate and everything. Hopefully it won't be for long. Oh, have you got another job? No, another life in Spain. I thought you'd given up on all that. We had, but it's what we both want. 
I take it a certain somebody doesn't know yet. No, and I'd like to keep it that way. Oh, forget Steph. What can she do? Oh, I've known her a long time. Believe you me, she could make my life a living hell. Oh, well, don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See ya. Bye. If she's going to be that stubborn, she deserves all she gets. Pride cometh before a fall. Hmm, that's what worries me. Aye. Maybe that's a teacher lesson in humility. If I didn't know you better, I'd say she was getting under your skin. She's enough to get under anyone's skin. Maybe we should try and talk to her. <laughs> Trust me, she's in no mood to listen. But we've got to do something. Aye, oh, we'll have another pint. If she wants to leave in alone, that's what she'll get. Well, I thought you were bad. Even your mother's not mean enough to deny Christopher his lunch. I'm up for a big night. Tonight. Yeah, me too. Sounds like it'd be a yeah. laugh. Yeah, well, I could be persuaded. As long as smiling me don't come along. Let us know then, yeah. Well, don't let me spoil the atmosphere. Tea to go when you're ready, Donna. Shows what you know. Don't even work here anymore. Why don't you come and join us? No thanks, I'm busy. Yep, busy moping after Katie. <laughs> We're only jealous. Who'd care about losing you, eh? Hey. No need for that. Yeah, and it's not Donna's fault, is it? Oh, I'm glad I've seen you. Um, I hear you have some good quality stabling. Yeah, uh, I'm afraid you'll have to catch me at a quieter time. Aww. He looks like a determined little boy. Oh, he is. He's just like his father. Mm. Well, uh, can I give you a hand? Um, yeah, yeah, thanks. He always gets a bit grumpy before a nap. Oh, uh, don't all men. Um, well, you know, I, I had a loose head, so, um, if I can help you out, if we have time, maybe you could show me the stables later. Well, if he falls asleep in the car, then you're on. Perfect. You're not having a good day today. I'm all fingers and thumbs. Well, it's no wonder when you're always being picked on. You know, Steph, there's no sentiment when it comes to profit. We've done something to upset her. Only the usual, just being myself. Well, if I were you, I'd put her straight. Oh, I find keeping my head down works better. Less messy. Why don't you take some time off? You must be due some holidays. Oh, don't worry. I am. Oh, go on, why don't you? <laughs> well, it's obvious she can't manage alone. She's adamant she won't take the help available. Why don't you offer? She likes you. It's not whom she likes. Edna's a proud woman. I oh, too proud for her own good sometimes. Then we're stuck until she realises she needs help. Hmm. Which in Edna's case, that could mean a long time. Mistake we're making here is assuming that Edna has a choice. <laughs> well, I wouldn't like to be the one to defy her. No, <laughs> no, me neither. Oh, no. But I know a man who might. I'm just stepping outside. I might be gone for some time. Well, it's not my fault she left it in. Well, I'm just lashing out, that's all. Yeah, at me. Well, let me get you a drink, see if I can cheer you up. Have you spoken to Robert lately? Oh, you're kidding, he's just said I go at Donna in calf. What's happened? Him, that's what. So wrapped up in cake, can't think of anything else. Where is he now? I don't know, he just stormed off. Oh, I'm supposed to be picking Victoria up. What can I get you? Shoes up, please. I hope you're not thinking of bothering Edna with those. <laughs> Tried to give them to her, but she shouted at me. She's got good reason. I just want to make things better. It's more than Edna's hip that needs time to heal, Sam. You did a terrible thing. She thinks she'll ever forgive me. I wouldn't. I can't say, lad, but if I was you, I'd keep well away. What on earth? Before you start, I'm having no objections. I beg your... These are to make sure you get some decent grub. Pardon, if you... And this contains what bits I need to spend night here. Think that because I've got a broken hip, you can start bullying me around. Why? What are you going to do? Kick me out? I shall do a damn sight more than that if you don't leave me alone. You are a stubborn and pig-headed woman, Edna Birch. And you are a presumptuous and arrogant man. Aye, one who's not shifting. 
what do I have to do to get it through that thick skull of yours? I am fine. OK, then. If you're so able, I'll go and knock at this door and we'll see how long it takes for you to answer it, shall we? I'm not here to play your stupid games. Believe you me, and neither am I. I'm timing this. Oh, thank you. You know, this place would have been perfect for us. <sighs> Don't your family ever give up? Uh, sorry. I've been part of the Kings for such a long time it rubs off. It's been comforting being such a large family. Used to be like that here. And now it's just you and the kids. Don't know how you do it. By employing people. Hmm? Oh, listen, thank you for helping earlier. I don't think I could bear any more of Scott's smart remarks. No, you should put him down a peg or two. I'll bear that in mind for next time. Um, it looks like we have some space in the stables. Really? Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, how much? How about I let you have a month's free trial? Call it a thank you. Are you sure? I mean, I, I feel guilty. No, it'll be a pleasure. It's been ages since I had some good adult conversation. Right. I'll have to make it a regular thing. Uh, you did say that you ride. Oh, I'd like that. Mm. Four minutes and counting. Sometimes I wish you were a bigger dog. It's from your dad. Look, he says he'll be home on Sunday. Emily told me what happened. You tried, love. That's the main thing. Such a cop place if I bothered it again. I don't want to get in any more trouble. What's my dad going to say when he gets back? He'll be dead chuffed to see you. Till he finds out what I've done. Yeah, and then he'll say, you've done a daft thing. But he'll be so proud that you stood up and faced the music. You're a good lad at heart, Sammy, love. Your dad knows that, and I know that, and we love you for it, no matter what happens. We'll get some sweets first. Here. I'll wait out here. You go in. Can I spend it all? Get what you like. Andy, Andy! Victoria! But I want to see Andy. Just get some sweets, then we can go home. I've been out there nearly ten minutes. Told you I wasn't going to play any of your silly games. <laughs> Thouse could have burnt down around you before you got up. Rubbish. Uh, what about Tootsie? She needs attention. You can't keep getting up and down. Will you just stop going on at me? Not until you see sense. All right, if it'll shut you up. At last. Reason. That just depends whether you make a better cup of tea this time. Uh, don't go ruining your appetites, will you? Because I've promised your dad that I am going to cook family tea. I don't have you down as a cooking type. Oh, no, no, I've got a secret weapon. It's called my one. Family bonding? Well, I was just warning these two that I'm cooking tonight, and I take it you'll be there. Huh. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I've got some good news. I found stables for Legacy. <laughs> Expensive, I presume. On the contrary. Zoe Tate has offered us home farm on a free trial. Bit of goodwill between us and Zoe won't do any harm. No, it won't, will it? Get them in charity. Oh, a bottle of red and two glasses, please, Diane. You managed to keep it in the back, then? Well, you just 
had a phone call from the estate agent on my mobile. Did Steph hear? No, but she was hovering. Now all I've got to do is to find a way of getting time off work so I can show him round. If you need any help, I don't mind pulling the wool over Steph's eyes. Thanks. Can't believe it's actually happening. Lucky beggars. Yeah. Alan said we could be there within two months. I've always wanted a place with a pool. The nearest I got was when I was married to Rodney. We had a leaky roof. <laughs> Right. Cottage pie it's oven. That should build some strength up. I am not a child. I'm trying to make this arrangement as acceptable as possible. I don't want to stay here, believe me. Huh. At least we agree on one thing. Aye. It's only a temporary measure till you're up to speed. And while you are here, you will respect my home and obey my rules. That goes without saying. Good. You can start by taking those boots off. I assume you have a pair of carpet slippers? Yes, Edna. Not in here. I don't want the room stinking. No, Edna. Nor do I want to see that donkey jacket draped everywhere. No, Edna. This is a tidy and God-fearing house. Do you understand? Yes, Edna. 